Disclaimer, classes in Trove are built very much the same, so if you have watched any of my other build guides, then there is quite a lot of things that will repeat itself, but you can bypass those parts by the timestamps in the description. Also, my guides are always updated, so if I was to stop doing YouTube, all my those guides would go away. No misinformation will be out there, and I will always update my videos slash guides. If something major happens to the game content, if something minor changes, it will be in the description. Hello guys! who here back on the video this time around we are doing a build guide for shadow hunter yeah so the intro is going to be very much the same as if you've seen it before you can skip ahead to maybe the demo or something else but yes the intro is going to be different just with the which class we are going to do basically just telling you if this is your first time watching one of these build guides what you can expect from the video so as you can see right here i did make it into chapters also indicated by uh, timestamps which is in the description or on the video and first we are going to start with a five minute demo just showcasing the class what abilities do it have kind of just showing off not going into detail what they basically do but just showing them off and maybe that will interest you at making one of these classes one of your mains after that we are going to do a quick look at overall stats for the every single class so for this class that you're watching right here we're going to do it for that one and also in general we are going to talk about stats for example like crit hit and crit damage that's going to be some generalization right there and then we are going to move into gear and everything there's on the gear page that is of course banners allies head face weapon <laughs> and also rings and food emblems flasks so on so on. everything there is in the gear uh, page we are going to go over that one as well then we are going to cover gems mostly we're going to cover the empowered gems of course we're also going to talk a little bit about the smaller ones but mostly we are going to go into the big empowered ones or the big gems that is and then for lastly of course as you can see right here on the screen we're also going to talk about the star chart or the talent tree as i basically call it so that's what the intro was all about, just letting you know what the chapters are and how it is going to work with the timestamp. So you can skip ahead if there's something you already watched, you can skip ahead to doing that, or you can basically uh, watch it all if you feel like you want to do that. But that was the intro, now we can jump into the demo.
All right, guys, we are going to talk a little bit more deeply about the Shadow Hunter. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the abilities because I didn't know if it showed correctly how it works on the showcase that I did, the five minute showcase. I don't know if you saw that one either, but it's more of a popular class, this one. So I'm going to go a little quickly through the abilities. Well, the abilities is that you mark an enemy. This can be through a wall, whatever, uh, but you can also use your number one ability. But if that's kind of a trap, so you do have to lay it down. Uh, I can show you real quick. It's like, it's like one of those. Uh, it doesn't look like this. It looks like a mouse trap because that's what this is, is, uh, costume is. It's kind of a mouse trap thing, kind of, or a mouse a musketeer, I think, is actually one of them. But it can apply the mark as well, but it can also randomly hit uh, the enemy and also hit the boss. And then you can actually hit, uh, hit it, uh, the boss or whatever enemy, through the wall as well. And then when you then consume one of these marks, you do get a one time you actually hit with the mark, like hit the enemy that has the mark. That's what I mean. <laughs> you get one of these shadow seekers and then you get stack up to five or six of these i think it's five yeah it's five and then you can basically release it with your right button so you basically release all of those and then they seek towards the it's really hard to see but it seek out the closest enemy it doesn't seek out the one that has to mark it's just the closest one and that's what it is and then the uh you know ultimate is basically the big arrows that just shoot like this as well as you can see right here it just shoots these very far and it does like a t uh, damage over time when it hits things so hopefully it doesn't hit that down there and destroy anything uh, but that's how the abilities basically are so for the shadow hunter and this is very important is that uh it's, it's kind of wonky before and when before they reworked the shadow hunter uh, attack speed did not apply to the shadow hunter at all after you uh, equipped the class gym so when the, you equipped the class gym you basically had max attack speed that's why you had the rapid fire that's why it's sort of a popular class as you can see it's kind of hard but you do see a little red beam or uh, uh, red arrows that's actually going out there and that's the rapid fire uh, it, it's basically the skin that makes it uh, you know i'm not sure what the standard one is i think it's yellow but this one makes it read the arrow so basically before attack speed did not apply to the shadow hatch at all when you equipped uh, equip the uh what's it called the class gym uh, as you had it still do not apply to the attack speed it basically works exactly the same as it used to but uh, your uh, ultimate actually do uh, work with the attack speed you do get from uh, everything else. Uh, if you go into here, uh, you can see there is actually a attack speed that confuses some people because some other ones that, for example, doesn't use, uh, like for example, if we go into the uh, there, you can see here for the pirate captain, you says zero energy regen because the energy regen doesn't work the same. You know, you get those coins and then you level up by that or get more energy by doing that. But the shadow hunter uh, still has the attack speed. So many people thought that it actually worked with the attack speed and many people said that. But uh, just to be clear, when you equip the attack speed or when you clip, equip, sorry, when you equip the uh, class gym, you do not, uh, attack speed do not uh, affect your uh, auto attack at all or uh, the marks or anything like that. The only thing it does work for is the ultimate. So with the ultimate, you actually do uh, uh, throw out more of them in that. So basically it drains your, uh, your, uh, your energy region or your energy and then, oh, I can't use it right now <laughs> because it's on cooldown, but it basically shoots more of them the more attack speed you have. But I just want to say you still kind of don't want to do that. You don't want to go for attack speed. The attack speed you do get from dragons and randomly from the tree and such from, uh, you know, the star chart and stuff like that is very wonderful and you should get that. But you're not going to attack faster getting more attack speed. So for the Shadow Hunter is one of the better classes and more public classes because it shoots very fast. But also you don't have to go into attack speed at all. So basically for your gear, you can go for movement speed and crit damage. Also for some magic find. It's one of the better classes for magic find because again, you're not reliant on that attack speed and the same thing with you know uh, with your bow uh, again magic find and attack uh, also cr uh, sorry movement speed and also critical damage and the same thing goes from here i would recommend you actually because i was going for like a com the most magic find i could on this class i only have a level three ring i don't have a four one with a magic find so it's not like completely magic find also the subclass could be the uh let me see where it is the pirate captain, I can't see that there. It, that's 70 more magic find, but I would lose the speed from the, you know, the knight and also the flask capacity. I also lose that. But yeah, uh, this is basically what uh, you want to go for is, is the knight. Or you can go again. You can also go 
uh, what's it called for the Lunar Lancer for the physical power, but the extra attack speed you get from when that bursts, you will not benefit from that at all, except for when you're on the ultimate and when that's up. Also, energy regen do work for that one, the arrow as well, because it does regen that faster back. So energy regen can also work for the Shadow Hunter. But again, usually you're just running up to dungeons. This is how people basically play it. It's that they run up to dungeons, they get very close to where the boss is, and then they mark that one and shoot it through it and go through the yellow portal and then pick up the, that one that's usually how people kind of do it that's how at least how i see it i usually run through the dungeons as I normally but i see that's how things uh, basically go but for the face i i would recommend going for instead of the magic find i would go with the um, physical damage instead because that is just but I, I like i said i went for like a much magic find as i could and i when crystal rings came out i kind of gave up on the because because that was not my main anymore my main is the dracolite as well so this is what i would go for do not go for any attack speed even though it does work for the ultimate because you're not going to fa shoot faster when you do get that class gym before that of course it works like everybody other or the, i guess every other class almost every, everyone that uh, benefits from attack speed it works that well so when you're leveling up uh, it's it's nice to get some attack speed and such but as soon as you equip that one doesn't benefit your attack speed anymore or your attack your attack rating i guess you can call it your the the frequency as your auto attack or your uh, main attack works as well so for an ally i went again for the magic find one i would recommend going for uh the Ernie one, as you can see, you probably don't see so much from me, but you can see the 400 light and the 25% physical damage. That's the one you probably want to go for if you are uh, just, you know, not going into magic find as I would. Of course, this is the lucky little lucky beast, and that's actually going on right now for the event we got going on right now for the St. Cubesley. So you might miss it this year, but it's coming back next year and a year after that if you want to get the best magic find ally. And of course, I will make a guide on the channel for, for that, but uh, this is the best magic find ally there is in the game. But again, just, just go for Ernie. Uh, for until then at least or some of the other ones as well as I you can go down to the description and you can actually see the best uh, you know allies and such for every single class it's down in the description as well for that so we're not completely done we do need to get the, a ring and you also need a banner the banner of course is a u10 banner you want to get the one with the physical damage on it and then you can pick whatever you want maybe flash capacity or movement speed that could also be a good thing movement speed is, is quite nice to get on the shadow hunter as well and for the ring, again, maybe magic find if you really want to go that route. Or again, you can also go energy region or jumps. Uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have a 4-1 equipped, it's going to be fine. What you really want from the, your ring is the physical damage and the light. So the third stat doesn't really matter too much. There's nothing that's going to be super boosting to anything. It's more of a utility thing. So if you can pick between a three and a four, I would pick the four, even though the third stat would be something you really don't want. But it's really up to you. Like if you're really missing jumps, for example, jumps can be, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, let me see if I actually have it. Oh, I don't have the boot actually as favorite, but there is a boot, for example, which is super easy to get. Like an ally that's super easy to get gives eight jumps i talk about that one also in my ally guide and that's super amazing because it's super easy to get like you can get it instantly as you start playing and then you get you get basically 10 jumps instead of having just two jumps and yes it doesn't give anything besides jumps but when you don't have any jumps you know then jumps are pretty awesome actually to have right and you can see i have 52 jumps on this one and it's not about getting jumps it's just that uh, over time you'll get a lot of jumps and then you want to get out of jumps but you know it varies on what stuff is basically the best so for stats you want to of course get as much physical damage as you can uh, you cannot avoid this magic damage but that doesn't work for anything at all unfortunately and then you want of course uh, some movement speed as we did before the attack speed does again work but don't worry about it you want to hit that 100 critical hit you want to get that one of course and then of course as much critical damage as you can get and of course as much light as you can light critical damage and physical damage is just something you just want to get as much as you can of and the rest of the stats you don't really have to worry too much about uh, unless of course you don't have 100 crit hit if you are 80 percent and lower i'll tell you how you are going to get more of that and that actually comes up right here because that is something to do with our flask so uh, just talking about our emblems of course you want to use the martial one that's what I call it. It's probably not the right pronunciation, but uh, 250 is just God. It's basically right over here. Uh, we got the arcane one for the magic damage users and then the uh, mat uh, the marshal uh, or the 
Marshall, I can think. <laughs> I don't want to pronounce it too much and waste you guys time, but these are the two ones you're always going to use for these. Just a little side note. And there's a bunch of stuff you can use here as well. You can use the one that ally ones and stuff like that. You don't want to use like the Chronomantic Cubesly uh, or need anything cooldown related because you're mostly just going to be auto attacking. And again, the uh, ultimate ability is not that great. It is okay for bosses to apply the damage over time, but it's not a super big damage over time. So again, I would not recommend you getting anything cooldown to get this up faster, uh, at least not spamming your flasks to, to get that cooldown down. But if you, like I said before, if you are missing, uh, if you are 80% critical hit uh, less, uh, under 80%, that's what I mean, you can get the Sure Strike Emblem. So the critical hit is going to be 20, uh, extra 20% for 10 seconds. There is also some allies and there is a few things. You can also get critical hit, of course, on your gear and stuff like that if you want to get, if you're missing that 100%. It's always a balance. You, sometimes you are... I have, well, this one I'm way over, but you know, sometimes you can be way under and then you can be way over and then you have to balance it. Like, do you have to like rework some gems or some gear or such like that? I'll talk more about that when I really get into the Dragonite because I have perfect stats on that one. But a critical hit, uh, if you are under 80%, of course, this is something you can use. If you want to, if you're under, if you're over 80%, it just is still, you can still work it or you can still work it. You can still use it because you'll still get some benefit out of it, but it's going to be less and less on the closer you get to that 100%. And when then you hit 100%, this is going to be completely useless. I like to use the Bountiful one uh, just to talk about the ones that I use. I usually use this on all my classes. The one has a chance of not consuming a charge. And that works, of course, uh, even when the, the Death Defying, and that's the one that triggers automatically when I was supposed to die, it basically triggers and saves me. And when you run out of charges, you can die, of course. But if you don't run out of charges, you can't basically die. There are sometimes some bugs and there is also one ability or two abilities for some enemies, uh, some bosses that can kill you. So if you said, hey, I actually, well, who, I actually had charges up and I actually died, sometimes it's a bug. It happens very rarely, uh, but it can happen. And it also can happen that uh, there's a boss that has a one-shot mechanic that can actually bypass the death defying as well. For example, Daughter Moon could have one of these so it can bypass that. But uh, the Bountiful one has a chance of not consuming a charge. And that means you can actually both on self-trigger but also on self-use it can actually use it so it doesn't uh, consume that charge. And then you basically have, uh, ideally, let's say you it triggers half the time, you would basically have you know, about, about like, I would say not the double amount, but you know, a lot more of these here. And of course, flash charges, getting, having this emblem up like all the time in a boss fight is just golden. So that's why it, you can consume these, but there's plenty of other ones. The ally ones are pretty cool as well. They're not, I don't feel like the AI is super, super, super amazing. So uh, I would rather go with this one because I have more control over that one. Then of course you got the trailblazing if you want some extra jumps and some movement speed, but that's more for speed farming. And Shadowhunter is okay at speed farming, but there's just a few classes in my opinion that does it uh, much better. I would say that the Shadowhunter is the perfect balance between bosses. It's not the basic bossing class is not the worst bossing class and the same thing with the farming it's not the worst um, you know farming is not the best at farming you know there's just other classes that does it if it comes down to it i would say the shadow hunter is a better farmer than it's a bosser but it's definitely one of the best physical damage users uh, compared to but the damage uh, magic damage users that we got for example the ice age is just so much better at damaging but the shadow hunter is not a bad at all so if this is your main you can definitely rock it through uh, both the Dells and on the U10 bosses and all that stuff. It, it all comes down again to how much light you have. Of course, that's just the most you want to get of that. So basically went over all of these things. Let's head into the last thing is of course the gems. We're gonna talk about the class gem and the class gem, as you can see, get that rapid fire stream of arrows. Um, that's just what the, basically the whole thing is. And if you equip this one, uh, I guess I can unquip it because that would just kind of be fun. Uh, you can see that how I'm shooting. You can see that you, you can't really see the shots, but you can see kind of my, my guy's movement, I guess, right? And if I then equip this one again, I just equip it here and say yes. You can see my arm is going much, much quicker and I got that rapid fire and just shooting like crazy as well. It doesn't benefit, it doesn't do like, it doesn't add more damage or anything like that. It just becomes 
faster and you know instead of having only this attack speed i have the max attack speed which is like 250 percent or i think it's that around that but there's a cap on it basically other gyms you want to use is could be it is the explosive one as well and you could also i use the the spirit search uh, this basically spawns a projectile that applies the damage over time you can also use the one that has a skin it's called mirror something and like applies the damage over time but if you're going for speed for example which most people also do for this one as i said it's a better speed farmer than it's a bosser if you are bossing for example i would not go for the pyro disc but I, pyro disc is still very very nice but it only triggers the movement speed only triggers when you defeat something so of course when the boss is dead it, it maybe it's triggers but it might have some ads that it can trigger on but then it just gives you more movement speed but you do have to be up close to make damage from that pyro disc and the pyro disc doesn't do any damage at all really it's not like it's gonna defeat a whole like a boss and just going inside a melee range so you can basically put anything in here you want to there's not really any specific one you can go with a few ones uh just go with the biggest one you have but the explosive is very necessary because the narrow or the, basically the uh the shadow hunter has just like it's a very single target like it's not doesn't really have aoe uh the, the ultimate kind of makes like sort of an like a frontal thing where it does hit something in the here but just farming it's just kind of clunky so you usually just auto attack and it's just very very thin the hitbox so when you have the explosive basically what it does is that it explodes when you kill an enemy so you can focus on one target that will explode and then do damage to the other ones and then you can like kind of make a sort of a chain reaction on this one and then for this one you only actually have one choice for the cosmic you always go for either the vampiric or the berserker you could go for the berserker if you want more light sure it does still work but it doesn't give you benefit the attack speed does not benefit you except for on the again on the ultimate but uh the vampiric is just so much better because you hit uh you of course you have 100 percent crit hit if you have that you are basically uh have a chance of increased movement speed yes and also leeching but, but basically you're healing on this one and move speed only is again only when you there's only a chance it's not like when you hit the first enemy with a crit because all your hits are crits uh, you are going to benefit from the uh, movement speed. Uh, it's only a chance, but of course, when you do have a 100% crit hit, every every shot is a chance of getting that so that's pretty pretty uh pretty cool but then you do have them at movement speed but it basically is about the leeching thing uh, and of course that of course works when you're hitting bosses that do work that as well so a longer fight you will heal and if you get hit uh you're actually gonna heal and you get pretty high on the, that uh you know uh, health wise so yeah that's basically it uh, again you could go with the berserker if you want missing the light if you really want to if you want to main max your light and really going super super deep into delves then of course the vampiric is just not going to cut it but i'm i would go with the vampiric but basically you can put anything you want really in here if you really want to do so the only thing that's really important again for the shadow hunter is of course first of all the class gym and then the explosive and then you can go with some other stuff that you feel like you want to do so most of the times it just comes down to power rank so you can equip as many things as that don't discourage, discourage if you don't have like the right uh, feel like you don't have the right gems or whatnot but that's basically the shadow hunter uh we talked about the banner we talked about the gear talked about the subclass again you could go with the knight uh, again you can also go you can also actually go with the salarian if you have that one but you always sort of want to get the uh, classes you've unlocked and has the highest level on and also has the most power rank on those are the basically what it goes for the uh, for the subclasses use the one that is the highest level has the most power rank and then equip just that one and if you have two that is basically the same then of course you can go for the one you feel like you want to go with it's not the biggest of deals so yeah that was the shadow hunter one of the more popular classes and uh, with that said you probably want to know how are you going to do with the star chart so that's coming up right now all right so now we got the physical damage part i don't know if you saw the magic damage one but the physical damage one looks very much like the magic damage part because this over here you got of course still the critical damage which there's a lot of great notes over here you do have to spend one point right here which gives some magic damage to get into here which i think is a little silly but 
that's just basically how it is. But there's a great, a lot of great physical damage notes going through up here. There is a little bit of a note out here. I was kind of debating with myself if you get out here because it is a lot of points again going out here. Uh, but it does give you 5% ma magic damage and physical damage. But yeah, it's not super great out here. And that's the same thing if you saw the magic damage part. The green ones means that they're okay notes out here, but you really don't want to go for them because you can see there's many notes in going in there. So it's not really necessary. You can see the other ones, the, the red ones are sort of like more clumped together, which means that they're just really, really great. And my my idea with this was that you go through the magic damage part and then, or critical damage part, and then the, oh, well, you can go for the physical damage part first, and then of course the magic, the, the critical damage part, and then you can go either this way or this way down here. So these sort of the, things I would definitely go for a physical damage character, go through the physical damage, critical damage, uh, and then out here with the light, there's a little bit of light, good light notes out here. Um, again, also kind of a nice note here, you don't have to go very far, but it gives a little bit of critical damage, but other than that, you don't have, you don't want to go further through this. There's some nice flask notes, but yeah, flask is not like a permanent, I just feel like the permanent buffs are just a little bit better. Uh, because it's gonna give you all the time. So if you don't have any flash charges, you know it's not gonna give you the same. So I, I'd rather go for some 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 you know hard facts or hard stats if you can say it like that. So yeah, this is the physical damage part. Again, you can parse the video if you want to see which ones you want to go for. Uh, again, it's just my opinion on which ones you should you know be a, at least be aware of. That's it for the video. Click the video on screen that's coming up right now. YouTube thinks you might like it. Also check out the description for all my ultimate guides that goes into more specific things in Trove. And also hit that like button would help me out very very much. Also consider subscribing and that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!